hey guys what's good what's up welcome back to another video we are getting ready to head out to a place called winter park colorado it is about two hours away from where we live and we have to go up pretty high in elevation to get there i think we're gonna go up to like 11,200 feet in elevation and winter park it sits at 8500 in elevation so it's going to be quite the climb because we're only at like 5500 elevation right now and we heard that it's a beautiful drive but it's a kind of scary drive if you've never you know driven up in the mountains before and we've never been up this far before it's in the mountains um we've never been higher than i think 6800 feet in elevation so I don't know hopefully it's not too scary but babe he has a job assignment out there so we have to go get it done and it's just gonna be a quick day trip we're not gonna um spend any time out here doing anything or out there doing anything shall i say but um i just want to take you guys along for the drive because i heard it's really beautiful like i said scary um especially if you're scared of heights or anything like that but they say that it's a really beautiful drive so hopefully we make it there safely um you know prayers are already up we've already you know asked the most high for um traveling grace to just watch over us and you know get us there safely and we will see you guys when we get there Winter Park Ski Resort. Yeah, people come there to go skiing. Look at the ski lift up there on the hill. Okay, guys, so we made it to Winter Park, and there's this. Well, we're in Fraser now. It's like 
a mile away, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like one mile away from Windsor Park. Yeah. And there's a river that's on South the Road, and we're going to go out and look at it because it just looks so beautiful. Yeah, no, it's fire. Yeah, so we just pulled off on side of the road, literally. And we're going to, what is that? Like a little hill? Yeah, it's like a little hill. We're going to go up this little hill and check it out. Okay guys, so it's the next day. We didn't end up recording when we got back yesterday because we were just too tired, but we're off again. <laughs> Today we're just going to Denver though. We're not going anywhere far, but um, I just wanted to come in and tell you guys like an overall, um, what should I call it? Like, I don't know, synopsis of how the trip went. Um, it wasn't that bad, actually. Um, it was a little bit scary. It was. I would be lying if I said it wasn't because, like I said, it was our first time going up there. But, like, once you're up there, you're good. Um, none of us, we didn't experience any altitude sickness or anything like that. We were up there for about five hours. So, I know um, altitude sickness usually sets in about six hours after you arrive somewhere. So, my husband tried to get in and get out as soon as possible because he didn't want to have us up there for super long but i wanted to go for the experience and i knew that unless we were forced to go up there then we probably never would and everything in winter park was closed um obviously like the ski resort and everything like that and there was actually a fire down and i think it's called cameron peak um, I'll put it up on the screen, but I think that's what it was called. But there was definitely a fire up there. We could see smoke everywhere, um, especially on the way back. So not so much on the way up. We saw a bunch of signs that said that there was a fire, but we didn't smell anything and we didn't see anything. But on the way back, we definitely um, could tell that there was a fire somewhere very close. It was very smoggy and smoky. So 
that was a little scary but other than that it was pretty good um there was really nothing to do because it's more so of a tourist place so there were a few restaurants and things like that open but their peak season is during the winter time so yeah that was our experience um will we do it again maybe we might do it again one day um during the winter time when it's snowy absolutely not because the roads are very windy and um you know there's very sharp twists and turns up there so i probably wouldn't do that when there's a lot of snow and ice on the ground i know people do it all the time but for me um not so much my nerves can't handle it so yeah um that's it that's all i wanted to come on and tell you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video and i will see you guys in the next one